Andy McDowell, Kyler Lee, Sadie LaFlemme Snow star in The Way Home, a brand new series coming to Hallmark Channel this Sunday, January 15th. Uh, this is so exciting, especially coming out of the holiday season. I mean, so many families were going through this. Uh, what a perfect time for the show to uh, to come out. Yeah, it's excellent. I mean, what what a wonderful, you know, publicity <laughs> like, you know, choice. Like it was fantastic and and really gave us such a wonderful opportunity to appeal to, you know, Hallmark's, you know, heart and soul. And uh, that was just so awesome for us to see everything kind of like blowing up so quickly to, in order to really put us in a prime position so that when we do air, which is in just a few days, um, hopefully everybody's just tuning in and, and ready to go on this incredible journey with us. Andy, you're, you're a grandma getting, you know, in the series, we get to see the, the story through your granddaughter's eyes. Does this feel like a life imitating art moment and, and project for you? I did, you know, I, I recently saw my granddaughter for Christmas and I have to say that I've never had such a soulful connection through my eyes with her and it did help inform um, just how right we were and correct we were with how Dell feels about her, her granddaughter. And there's a scene that you'll see when they first arrive home where I just shoot right past my daughter. I just don't even pay her any, <laughs> any attention and go straight for my granddaughter. And I was, I was like, yeah, this is really, you know, that, that tells you so much about who these people are and just, you know, it's so correct. And it's also the journey between us, I think is really rich in the desire to know my granddaughter and the healing with us is, a, it's a slow process. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a lot of pain. There's a lot of pain because of our history. I lost my son. She lost her brother. But because of the magic of the show, the, the thing that sets this show apart from anything is what happens with my granddaughter and the pond on this gorgeous farm where she happens to go through it and come out in 1999. And so I you know, let's talk a little bit about, about the role of Alice and, and, and your journey on it and what we're going to see. Yeah. Um, well, Andy, you set me up very nicely. <laughs> <laughs> so Alice... Um, you know, she ends up on this on this farm with a grandmother she's never met. She's, um, you know, a city girl. She's struggling with her parents separating, and she does not want to be there. And not to mention, she is thrown into the middle of a really difficult mother daughter relationship between her mother and grandmother. So um, she knows there's this, been this tragedy, but she doesn't know why they can't um, communicate and they can't they can't even really be in the same room together without being at some sort of odds. So when she when she gets the ability to time travel back to 1999 before tragedy has um, struck their family and actually not just see what happens, but really involve herself and become best friends with her mom as a teenager and see how loving and warm the family was before everything happened. It just sets her on a path of wanting to figure out what it would take to bring us back together and find each other in the present. Mm -hmm. um, so she really, um, throughout the season, you'll just, you just see her um, having this, this mission to, to find a way for, for us to have our, our own new relationship, despite everything that's happened to us. And, and Kyle, let's talk a little bit about the character uh, of Kat, because you say the words 1999, and it feels like it was five minutes ago, and it just shows just how quickly time can pass. And so many families go through that, where they have something from their past that they struggle with, but they try to continue with their new family, but you still kind of struggle with those issues. Um, maybe some of the feedback you've gotten from, you know, fans and you know people on social media as far as like I go through the exact you know similar things with my family yeah I mean I I think personally we could all relate to the fact that if we could go back to the past could we change things um would I change things no because it's made me who the person I am today mm -hmm. um and I think you know Kat in her own mind would never think of, okay, maybe if I could go back, you know, of course amidst their circumstances to kind of find out what actually happened because Kat feels incredibly responsible for um, her little brother kind of like, it's it's a mysterious disappearance of his. So in, in her case, yes, I think for her to be able to do that, but you know, she's she's a journalist by trade and so there's always that sense of like, if I could just put the pieces together. So when she goes back to the farm um, in 2023, 
you know, she's trying to have these conversations with Dell, but Dell is pretty closed off about the whole thing, trying to to move on. But Kat is literally staying in the room that Dell, you know, has has changed over. Um, now it's no longer Jacob's room, but there's still like the little glow in the dark stars that are on the ceiling that when Kat kind of like falls on her bed and looks up, it just kind of sparks something in her mind to really try to investigate and figure out what happened. Um, and when, you know, Alice comes back from the pond, she's obviously not relaying the fact that she just time traveled because, I mean, that's kind of like a, a notion, I think, that would be very uh, hard to swallow. But, um, you know, she kind of rekindles the sense of when Alice is asking why, 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 and what, 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 she's now trying to kind of convince herself, maybe it wasn't my fault, even though I feel so responsible, I've just got to put the pieces together. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Well, thank you all so much for your time today. Sunday, January 15th on Hallmark Channel, The Way Home uh, is going to premiere. Andy, Kyler, and Sadie, thank you so much for your time today. Thank, thank you. you for having us.